This is to show you how to create and set tabs in Word 2013. It works the same as previous versions. However, to get the ruler if you need it, you click on View, check it off, you got the ruler. To move this along quickly, I have stuff typed in here. You want everything to stack, name, last, city, state. I'm going to go on the Home tab, put on the paragraph markers. Whenever you press a tab key, you get an arrow. As you can see, with the different widths of words, um, it affects. We want things to align. The first, the, one of the easy ways to do this is just to go into the ruler and just click. And you get things like, uh, you're going to see a few things here. And as you can see, New Jersey is flying over. You just click on this, move it over. However, if you look here, you see you might want the numbers to be a decimal line. I could just pull this off. I click on that little thing over here. The one with a dot, the upside down T. Now, if you look at this, you'll see payment is a little bit different. You want this to be, let's say, aligned over here. I click only in this one line. I click till I get the left tab. And then I click about here. Get rid of that other one. Pull it down. Other ways of doing this, uh, more scientific. Some people like this. Some people like the other one better. I'm going to click on the bottom paragraph group. Click on tabs. I'm going to just say clear all. OK. Um, I'm going to start again. When you're doing this, if you see each paragraph marker, each line can have a different set of tabs. I'm highlighting all of this. If you're starting something for the first time, you may just want to go and arbitrarily choose them, fine tune it later on. So I go over here, tabs, and I'm going to click on make the first tab at about an inch one, shows left, set doesn't do anything until I say OK. Next tab will be 1.75 set. The next one will let's say be 3 set. Move this over. We need space for the payment and I'm gonna say set we're going to refine this for the numbers in a minute. I'm going to say OK. Not bad. But if we look over here, we could see we didn't change this one properly. What I would do is just move the city over to here. Click over here. Got that over there. Ooh, ooh, I just, you got to be careful you don't get a whole bunch of little bugs up there. What I want to do is I want to do these lines here with a decimal tab. I just highlight these lines here and I I want to remove that last one. I'm going to say clear and I'm going I'm looking over here let's say about 4.8 4 point eight four point eight click on decimal we say okay you got that in there want to show you this thing with these tabs again there's different ones you can do a left tab you understand a decimal you understand. Center means everything goes under the middle. The bar puts a little line. Something I really never used. Right how lines on the right. And then you've got a leader. I'll show you an example of this. So let's say you want to say chapter one and then you want a dot leader going to the page number. So we click on
six right a little dot leader set OK. You can see everything aligning evenly on the right. If you don't want to see those paragraph marks, shut them off. When you're setting them off, you want them on. So if you look up here, we look in the ruler, you've got a bunch of tabs here. Go down here, you got a different tab. Also, when you're setting up tabs, just want to show one final thing. You got this thing here, that, that's the default for the left. This is the center, the right, the decimal, the bar. This is the first line indent, the hanging indent, and back to there. The first line indents and hanging indents work in this section.